Hello everybody and welcome to this OBS Studio tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up OBS, how to download it, and then how to get everything that you see here on stream so that you can stream on YouTube like I do. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the sub count, the event list, the member goal, the YouTube chat, the text on the screen, the timer. There's a lot of different stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it all in this video. And there'll be some timestamps down in the description down below. So if you want to skip to a specific part, go for it. But anyways, make sure to go like, subscribe if you want more content like this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, let's begin. Alright, the first step is to go and download OBS Studio. So go to obsproject.com. And once you go there, you should see a screen similar to this. Now, once you're here, you have to determine which operating software you are using. And now, I'm currently on Windows, but if you're on an Apple product, you might be on Mac OS. Or if you are on a different one, you might be using Linux. It depends which one you're on for which one you should click here. Now, for me, since I am on Windows, I'm going to go over here and click on Windows. So you should see the screen here. Thank you for downloading OBS Studio and make sure you have enough space on your computer. Because I know some people, if you don't have enough space, then you won't be able to download it. Now, unfortunately for me, I won't be able to walk you through this install process. Uh, it's very, very simple. Just click yes, and then you'll see the OBS Studio setup come up here. Now, it's very, very, very simple to actually do this. It's not difficult at all. Just uh, basically just click next and just allow everything to work. It should work well if you are able to do that. Uh, however, if, you, if I click next, since I am using OBS Studio right now to record this video, I won't actually be able to walk you through this specific part. But trust me, it's very, very straightforward and it should be relatively easy to go through. Once you've downloaded OBS Studio, the next step is to go over to your YouTube dashboard. So, I went over to youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard and here I am at my live dashboard. So we need one thing from here and that is the stream key. So make sure to get your stream key because getting this will allow you to be able to stream on YouTube. But make sure to not share this with anyone. That's why I'm not going to reveal my stream key. But what you need to do is make sure you copy that. Go over here into settings. Go over to stream. Make sure your server is on YouTube if you want to stream to YouTube and then paste your stream key in here. But please do not reveal this to anyone. This is super sensitive information. And if you reveal this to other people, that means that they will be able to take that and stream on your channel. So please make sure you don't share that with anyone. It is super, super duper sensitive information. But anyways, once you get that going and you put it in settings, the next thing is to actually set up the screen. So people will be able to, able to see your screen and see what you're doing. So, the very first thing that you need to do to set it up is go over to here to add, go to display capture, and you can name it whatever you want. I personally, I named it everything, and then you should see a screen similar to this. Now, you may have multiple displays depending on which one, if you will, if you have multiple monitors, then you might see more than one. Uh, but, since I only have one, there's only one option for me and I choose to capture the cursor. You could choose not to if you don't want to, but then click OK, and you should be able to see your screen similar, similar like, just like this. See your screen, see everything you're doing, and yeah. If you've got this far, that means you're doing pretty well. The next step though is how to set up my webcam. So, here's my webcam, and to set it up, very simple. Just go over here, add another source, go to video capture device, once you're here, again, name it whatever you'd like, and you should see this. Now, I only have one device plugged in, my Logitech a webcam, but if you have multiple in, then you can pick and choose which one you want. But, but make sure your webcam is plugged in, and activate the video, get that all good, you're good to go. And yeah, don't really change any of these settings, they're usually pretty good. I know, configure a video, you can mess around with that if you want to, but everything should hopefully be looking good if your webcam is set up, plugged in, and ready to go. Now, I love you guys probably on stream see me use this webcam overlay that I use around the stream. That's actually just a GIF that I found, um, I believe, on streamlabs.com, which we'll be visiting a bit later on. Uh, so, you can use whichever one you want, and 
Uh, if you have any GIFs that you want to use for webcam overlay, feel free to use it. Um, but I'll, yeah, I'll link down below in the description where I found mine. Uh, next up, though, uh, we have the text that I have on the screen. That Viper King that you see right there is actually just text, and that's super easy to do, along with the other text I have, such as if I have my username, or if I have uh, this one, subscribe. There's a bunch of different stuff there uh, that you can use, but it's very simple as well. Go over here to Sources, go to Text, and to add text, uh, you can just play around and add whatever you want. Uh, the font I'm actually using is called Equalize and it is not available on OBS Studio. So if you do want to get this text, download Equalize to your computer because OBS will automatically detect what text is you have on your computer and that's the options that you'll be able to choose from all the fonts that you'll be able to choose from. Yeah. The one I'm using is Equalize, but again, note, it is not available on OBS Studio unless you download it onto your computer. Once you do that, you can set your color. Um, I use an outline, and there's a bunch of other options that you can do here to customize your text to whatever you want it to be. All right, well, hopefully now you have your webcam set up with a nice, beautiful overlay and some text there as well, if you want that. So the next step is to set up the YouTube chat, the sub alert, and the event list. Now these all go hand in hand because they're all found from the same website, streamlabs.com. So that is S-T-R-E-A-M-L-A-B-S dot com. So once you're here though, go over, uh, you won't see this immediately, but make sure you go over here on the left side and click all widgets. Once you do that, then you should see all of the stuff here. There's a lot of different stuff that you can use. Uh, alert box, chat box, event list, and there's a ton of other things down here. Um, but yeah, we'll just be focusing on these three for now. So each one is set up pretty similarly. Uh, for the alert box, uh, you can click on alert box and then you can, let's see, if you go over here to donations, you can see that I have a GIF, I uh, just fry from Futurama. Uh, so you can change whichever one you want. If you want an image, I know Streamlabs has some stock images that you could use. Uh, but I know I found the GIFs that I use on Giphy.com. So, um, yeah, Giphy.com is a great way to find some GIFs that you can use from here. Um, but yeah, so you can choose how long you want the alert to last, how bad you want it. 50% I think is pretty good though. And um, yeah, you can choose whatever you'd like. And uh, you can customize it for each one. So for su if someone subscribes, it's a different one than if someone donates. Um, and yeah, different sound as well. Again, you can customize however you want. Uh, but yeah, I usually just keep it on for 10 seconds uh, for a lip duration. That's usually pretty a good time zone. But anyways, whenever you, however you customize it, you can again do it however you want. Uh, but this uh, widget URL will come up. So I won't show it here on stream because again, it contains some sensitive information. Um, but go copy it and go back over here to OBS Studio. Once you're here, go over again, once again to sources, click on the add button and go to browser. Now, once you're here, all you gotta do is um, go and paste in the URL here. Once you do that, um, then you should be good to go and the stream, you should be able to see what you put or customize here on streamlabs.com on OBS Studio. So, uh, I'll just go through everything that I kind of use for the sub alert. I have the width at 800 and the height at 600. For the chat, I have it at 300 width and 300 height. And for the event list, I have it at 400 width and 200 height. Now again, that could change uh, depending on what you want. It's up to you. Um, but that's currently what I have, so you know what, what settings I have. But each one is basically the same, so if you go over to chat box, again, very similar. I use the Twitch theme, um, and then, yeah, um, I don't have a background color and the text color is white. That's personally what I use. Um, nothing too um, different there. And then over here in the event list, I had I have a red background on with a solid theme and with white text as the color with Droid Sans as the font. Again, you can customize it however you want, but just keep in mind that each separate one has a different URL, so make sure to go and copy that and put it into a browser 
source in OBS Studio. Well, there you go. Hope that helps. And hopefully now you have a sub alert, your YouTube chat, and your event list set up on OBS Studio. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to set up is a timer on OBS Studio. So now uh, what you need to do is search up SNAZ. So that's S-N-A-Z. Search that up over here and click the first link here on github.com and go over here and click download SNAZ. And then once you're here, go over to snazsetup.exe, click that and over here in the bottom left, open, open that up. Click yes, and then I'll use English, because I'm speaking English right now. Create a desktop shortcut. Again, yeah, just click through. Click all the next, and now finish. Here we go. Now we're all good to go. So, hopefully this should pop up once you download Snaz. And uh, there are many different things that you can use. Uh, personally, for the timer, I'm using the chrono down feature. Uh, I mean, again, depending on what you want to use, you can choose which one uh, you want to chrono up. I mean, I use countdown to a specific time when I'm starting my streams at a certain time. Uh, so yeah, you can use whatever you use. But anyways, once you do it, go over here and make sure you copy the path to the clipboard. Then go over here and back up to your sources, click on add and go to text. Now once you're here, then go to uh, read from file and click on browse files and select the correct file that you want. So since this timer that I'm using is chrono down, that is what I am using here for the text file. And you can change the font however you want, um, also the color, again, customize it however you want to for your text, and yeah, but by using Snaz, you'll have a timer that uh, is pretty dang good and works here on screen. So yeah, that's how you set up the timer. So now we're going to move on to the sub count. So this is probably the hardest thing to do on this list. So bear with me, it might be a little bit confusing. But the very first thing you need to do is you have to be on a Chrome browser. So you have to be on Chrome and go to Social Blade Chrome Extension. Type that in and go over here with the first link. And over here, uh, since it says remove from Chrome for me because I currently have it, but it should say add from Chrome or add to Chrome, I believe. Um, so click that link or click that button. And then um, the next step you want to do is go over here and go to your YouTube dashboard. So if I go over here, go to YouTube Studio, then I should see this. You should see this. You should be here, hopefully. And over here in the bottom left, uh, you should see a live subscriber count. Now, that will not be there unless you have the Social Blade Chrome extension. If you don't have it, then you will not be able to see it and this will not work. But make sure to go click on it and then boom, hopefully you should see your subscriber count and it should be accurate. It's, pre it's pretty accurate. Not 100% accurate, but it is pretty close to perfect. So here it is. That's your subscriber count. Go over here to streamer mode. And then once you're here, then uh, make sure to go over and add sources once again. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult and um, keep in mind when you are on stream you will have to keep this web page open in order for it to work and you'll have to open it first. So the very first thing when you set up your stream you have to open up this page first. But then go to window capture. Once you click that I named it sub count and it won't look like this. Instead what it'll look like is I'll show you it will look something like this, with this green key. So what you need to do is go over here to sub count, then go over here to filters, and make sure you get a chroma key working. And yeah, go down here into the bottom and add a chroma key. Then you should see key color type. Since this background is green, if you went on streamer mode, then click on green and it should cut out hopefully everything here so you don't see anything. Then, uh, so when you actually do it, it should actually probably look something like this. And it'll probably be like a big screen like this, kind of in the middle. So what you need to do is actually, when you adjust it, you're going to have to hold down Alt. So hold Alt and then adjust it, and then you can adjust uh, how big it is. So then adjust it. I just took an image 
uh, a, a box, a text box, so that is currently what I'm using. You can use whatever you want, and then adjust it as you would like. But yes, so, I know that part might be a little bit confusing, if you need any help with it, please go set, put a comment in the description down below. Uh, but it can be a little bit tricky to set up, but just yeah, please remember, it is a window capture, and in order for window captures to work correctly on OBS Studio, you do have to open it, and it does have to be the very first thing you open it when you're setting up your stream. But there we go, hope it works, and yeah, make sure you click Alt to uh, adjust the size of the screen so you just see the sub count and not all the other stuff in the way. The next thing you'll need to do is set up your audio. So, go over here to audio, um, go over here in settings, and then you can choose which audio you want to use. So currently, for my desktop audio, I'm using the headphones from my VR Rift headset, so that is what I have it set at, and for the mic, uh, I am using the mic from my webcam. So, that is currently what I'm using, and uh, you can pick and select which one you want to use here. Uh, default, sometimes that works, um, If you, it could also work, uh, it might be a little bit worrisome though. Uh, if I'm using that. But, um, yeah, pick and choose which one you want over here in the audio settings. Then, to set up your video, uh, I'm currently using a 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second. Um, however, I know that can be a little bit difficult and a bit laggy if you are on uh, a computer that has a little bit less uh, computing power. So, if that's the case, then I would recommend going down to something like 1280 times 720 and uh, down to 30 frames a second if necessary. Uh, that's up to you, but I wouldn't go any lower than that because then it doesn't look too good on stream. But yeah, 7, 1280 by 720 at 30 frames a second I think is still pretty acceptable and it does look relatively good. But yeah. Um, then, if you want to go, I'll just go through some more of the settings that I have. I don't really believe I've changed many of these, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll just scroll through everything a bit slowly. If you want to see all my settings that I currently have set, um, but like I said, I think it's pretty much automatically set to most of this stuff um, when you start it out. I think, uh, obviously, I don't remember changing much of this. But again, this is all the stuff I have. Uh, there might be some other, other people who know what to do uh, better than I do for all these settings. So if you want to go, check it out. And yeah, uh, but hotkeys here, this is up to you completely what you choose. Um, but this is currently what I have. And then for advanced, I don't think I've even touched this at all. So I would recommend that you probably don't either. <laughs> OBS Studio probably has the best settings automatically set. So it's better to usually just leave it alone and trust OBS. So there you have it, that is how you set up everything that you might see on one of my streams on OBS Studio. So I hope this video helped you out. I know I've been requested a bunch of times uh, and asked, how do I do this? How do I set up that? So I hope this video answered a lot of your guys' questions. And if you have any more, let me know down in the comments. I'll be responding to a bunch of comments uh, that you guys have. So please go and ask questions if you haven't. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. But that's all for now, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, everybody.